Greece looks like it shattered into tons of islands. Let's take a look at its seas. To the west lies the calm Ionian Sea. To the east, the Aegean, speckled with more than 6,000 islands. Up north is the Thracian Sea. And stretching south is the big island of Crete guarding the entrance to these. The seas around Greece are shallow, with broken chunks of land under the water, perfect for creating islands. As tectonic plates stretch apart, trenches open, magma rises, and new ridges are lifted toward the surface. Every uplift and fracture lifts another piece of rock above the waves. These islands were made when tectonic plates pushed, cracked, and lifted pieces of land, like nature's puzzle. Here, the African plate dives beneath the Aegean plate. The pressure buckles the crust, prying blocks of rock upward. Over millions of years, cliffs rose from the sea, sculpting the maze-like island. Volcanoes helped too, pushing islands up from the seafloor. Along Greece's southern edge, an arc of submarine volcanoes keeps oozing magma, building peaks that breach the waves. Over centuries, those newborn rocks harden, green over, and welcome villages, each a stepping stone in a fiery island chain. A living Great islands is even of the huge islands across the sea, and the Aegean Sea is an act to gaze at over. Water load pair of the islands. That's why Greece has so many islands, like tiny beads scattered across the sea. All these islands make Greece special, like hundreds of tiny storybooks in the sea.